Okay. Make sure you close up.
Well, I see. Okay.
Hey. Make sure to do the dishes. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about?
Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside. What do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. That's exactly the case. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. A person's mental state changed so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up.
See ya. Okay. Hey, wait! our chance.
Okay.
Mmm. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady An chose this place. It's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! After our stuff, we'll snag something for you guys too, don't worry. Oh man, God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now where should I start? She's all about the cake. So happy. <laughs> hey, calories. What do you 
think one of these costs! I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> I didn't really know what you'd want. So I just grabbed you some beans. bizarre things there too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it all to me. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening.
wait. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you! Floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? Still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? time for this I know don't bother with him how was with that 
that bossy guy. Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. What's wrong? make me worry more, you know. I bet it's because he rarely eats well. I'm always stuffed with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! So long. Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. Restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen. That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people. I 
I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed, that can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. Right. <laughs> Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world! Are you okay being our leader? Objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I've got it! I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Diamonds. <laughs> I'm 
getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilet? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Oh no, you idiot! <sighs> you decide for us. Not bad at all. A good name for a rookie. We going with that? Well, now 
that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves Organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story.
From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. There are many more events that I must inquire on. Lies and false accounts are eventually exposed. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed.
Oh! Nice. 